Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV. This is where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Miss Mukungi. I'm taking you through history and the government from one, and this is our 33 lessons. Our today topic is the people of Kenya up to 19th century, and the subtopic is the community in Kenya. And our objective is by the end of the lesson, you should be able to trace the background to the Kenyan people. Uh, when you're talking about the Kenyan people up to 19th century, we are referring to three groups of people classified as the linguistic groups. And uh, the first one we have is Bantus, Nilots, and Kushites. They migrated into Kenya and came into contact with the earliest inhabitants who were the Khoisan. Uh, another thing you will find that when you're talking about the early communities, uh, the first one we are going to discuss is the Bantus. And the term Bantus refers to people who speak related languages. These people called Man Mtu and their original is Zaire, formerly Congo. From their original homeland, they migrated slowly eastwards until they reached and settled in Kenya. Another thing when you're talking about uh, Bantus, Bantus may be split into two main categories. We have Eastern Kenyan Bantus. This category include the Akamba, Kikuyu, Ameru, Embu, Taita, Guriyama, Kombe, Choni, Digo, Rabai, Jibana, Pokomo, Duromo, Kauma, and Ribe. Uh, another thing you will find that when you're talking about the classification of the, of the Kubantus, they migrated from Congo forest where they reached Mount Kilimanjaro and moved to Taita Hills where this dispersed in different directions. Those who went and settled at Shungwaya were later forced to migrate into interior of the Kenya following the course of River Tana and these people are the Oromo. A few, such as the Mijikenda, were left at the coast and in Uganda. Uh, also, when you're talking about the Bantus, we have the Western Kenyan Bantus. And this category include the Abalusi, Abaluya, Abakuria, Abasuba, and the Abakene. This group of people settled in Western Kenya, some like the Abalusi, entered Kenya from Uganda. Uh, another thing you will find that um, we have the second classification of community and these are nylons. They migrated into Kenya from Sudan through Uganda. They must be split into three categories. First we have River Lake nylons which includes the Luo who lived on the shores of uh, Lake Victoria. They migrated from southeastern Sudan in Bark El Gazelle region and entered Uganda. And later, later they left Uganda and moved into Kenya. Uh, the second category of the nylons is the plain nylons. And this include the Samburu, Maasai, Karamojon, Teso, and Takana. They entered Kenya from southern Ethiopia and passed along the shores of Lake Turkana. Uh, the third and the last category of uh, uh, nylons that you're going to talk is the Highland nylons, which include um, the community of um, Nandis. And here we have the third category of, of community of Kenya, which is Kushites. And the Kushites entered Kenya from the northern eastern direction. They were coming from Horn of Africa, which was the original homeland of Kushites. Uh, another thing you will find that Kushites can be split into two, whereby we have Eastern Kushites, and there we have Oromo, Somali, Rendile, Grabra, Shangila, and Burji. Uh, the other group of Kushites, we have the Southern Kushites. This migrated into Kenya from Ethiopian highlands. They went southwards and settled between Kenya and the northern Tanzania. And this category included the Sanye, Dohalo, and Boni living at the mouth of River Tana. Uh, when you're talking about the communities in Kenya, those are the three communities that we have. 
Finally, we have our class activities. You are supposed to give the two classification of Bantus and the Kenyan communities. Also give examples of plain nylots. Uh, for more information, you can refer to the milestones in history and the government, page 39 to 41. And you can follow us and con or contact us through the number that is appearing on your screen or find us in YouTube as Elim TV. Also get us in Facebook as Elim TV. And finally at Twitter, we are there at Elim TV underscore K-E.